Ever wondered why gossip seems to be a favorite pastime among married women? Let's dive into this fascinating social phenomenon. Gossip, often seen as idle chatter, is actually a subtle art of communication and bonding. Particularly among married women, it can turn a mundane afternoon into a thrilling mystery novel. Imagine a harmless piece of news transforming into a neighborhood-wide enigma causing a flurry of detective-like activity. So, as you can see, gossip can unite a community in the most unexpected ways. Remember the childhood game Telephone, where a story gets distorted as it passes from one person to another? Now imagine that game being played in the world of married women's gossip. Hilarity ensues, right? Well, you're not wrong. Picture this. A small tidbit about a friend buying a new purse suddenly morphs into a tale of a secret millionaire husband. It all started with Margaret mentioning her new purse at the coffee morning. By the time it reached the ears of Susan, the purse had transformed into a luxury designer bag. When Susan passed the news on to Julia, the whisper of a designer bag became a story of a secret shopping spree in Paris. And by the time it reached the final link, our dear friend Linda, Margaret's purse had somehow become a symbol of her husband's hidden millions. In the world of gossip, facts can become as elusive as a needle in a haystack. Did you know that gossip could be therapeutic? Imagine this, a woman named Jane, burdened by the humdrum of life, finds her relief not in a yoga class, not in a hot bubble bath, but in, wait for it, gossip. You see, for Jane, indulging in a bit of harmless chit-chat about others is like a spa day for the soul. Every Tuesday night after tucking her kids into bed, she picks up her phone and dives into a world of whispers and giggles, sharing tales about the neighborhood, the latest happenings in her friends' lives, or just about the new family that moved in next door. She's not spreading negativity or causing harm, but simply unwinding, letting go of her own worries while momentarily living someone else's life. It's her way of stepping out of her own shoes, her own stresses, and just breathing a sigh of relief. Who needs a therapist when you have a good gossip session? So, what have we learned about married women and their gossip? Well, it's a social bonding tool, allowing them to connect and share experiences. It's also a game of telephone, where the truth can get distorted as it passes from one person to another. And let's not forget, gossip can serve as a therapy session, providing an outlet for emotions and stress. Next time you overhear a piece of juicy gossip, remember, it's more than just idle chatter. It's a social bonding tool, a game of telephone, and a therapy session all rolled into one.